Hello YouTube, it is Mr. Baumgarten here with the next in my series of videos on using the Python Imaging Library. And today we are going to have Python recognize and det or detect our face in the camera. So let's uh, get my Visual Studio code up and running. I've got a new file and like usual, as soon as I create it, I'm gonna go file save as well. And I might just call this face detect and finish with my .py as usual so that it knows it is a Python file and I will import in from PIL, I will import uh, the image uh, library and I will import my image tools. All right, so just as a reminder, that is from the image tools made easy library. So if you have not done that install, you will need to do so. And that is from the pillow library. All right, hopefully you've got both of those already installed because you've already been working through my previous videos. So like earlier, I will create a camera object, image tools, oops, capital T, image tools, camera, capital C on the camera, and then I'm gonna take a photo. So photo is equal to camera dot take photo. And just to prove that it works, let's just do photo dot show. And everybody say cheese. Okay, there's my lovely photo there. Now, to make Python recognize our face. We need a special file that the image tools system uses to help it know how to recognize faces. All right, and so the, the file we are gonna get is at this address. So github.com slash opencv slash opencv slash tree slash master slash data slash ha cascades all right uh, i will put this link in the comment description of the video so you can should be able to find it there and these are the different things files uh, that we can train our system to look for the one that we are going to use is front frontal face so as in a face that is looking front on to the camera and we'll use the default one so if i click on this link what will happen at the moment is, we'll wait for my computer to catch up. All right, it, it gives me the full text of the file down here. And uh, what I can do is I go to raw and just give me the raw value of the text. And I can now go to file, save as, or sorry, right click, save as. And I want to save this in the same folder as my Python project All right. and so once I have navigated to the, that correct folder All right. so in my case it's demo click Save and then you can come back into your Visual Studio code now if I double if I click on the little Explorer here right, I can see I've got my that file has been saved here if you don't have this demo editor view uh, uh, just go to file open folder and select the folder that you're working from in there and this uh, view should pop up and you can see all the files in your folder so you can see here that i've got the fonts that i worked on last time uh, the mean image that i made last time and so on all right so once this file is in my folder it's pretty easy to get it up and running uh, so i'm going to create a variable called faces and faces with plural because uh, if I have two or three people uh, smiling at the camera at once, this will actually recognize the multiple faces in there. And so I'm gonna use the image tools. Uh, and behind the scenes, this is using another library called OpenCV uh, for recognizing where the photo, uh, where the faces are. So image tools dot get faces, and then I provide it the photo. So uh, photo, my variable, and I give it the name of this file. So I've got to make sure I get this correct. Uh, and can I just copy this? I might be able to just copy the file name in 
here. Yes. All right. Um, do I want the? You can either do the copy. Uh, copy relative path will, will be shorter. Yep. There we go. Okay. So just uh, so that you don't get any of that spelling wrong, right click, copy relative path, and then you can just paste the file name in here. Uh, and so now, if I print what this faces thing contains we will see if I look at the camera so I can see my face <laughs> lovely uh, images tools is not defined because it doesn't have an S in there so let's try that again okay uh, and we see here we've got a bunch of coordinates all right so Python is telling me that my face this the, appeared the top left corner the x coordinate was 485 the y coordinate of, of that top left corner was at pixel number 200 and that my face was 360 pixels wide 360 pixels high uh, and you'll see here there's a double set of brackets that's because there, it is a list of lists uh, because it could have been multiple faces in there uh, so for instance if i if i only want the first face first face equals faces zero uh, I could now print that out instead of faces and it will just give me the first face uh, so if I look at the camera and okay so it's giving me the coordinates there now the trouble is if it doesn't recognize a face uh, it will crash on this line 8 at the moment because because I have set this up to assume that there will be a face so if I don't look at the camera, uh, no, it, it, it still found me. All right, let's step right back and see what it does. Okay, there's a lovely photo of my kitchen. And you'll see here, tuple index out of range, all right, index error. So if you get that, it's meaning, it means in this case that it has not seen a face in the photo. All right. Once I've got these coordinates, so you've got it recognizing a face, I then let's, for instance, just crop to where that individual face is. Uh, and so if I come and open up, where's my drawing screen? So if this is where my face is inside the photo and I've been given these X and Y coordinates and I've been given the width and the height, let's quickly recap how the crop works. Uh, I've got this X, and I've got this Y, but then I've got here a width and I've got a height, but the crop, I need to give it the X and Y value of the start of the top left corner and then the X and Y coordinate of the bottom right hand corner. So to get to that corner, my X value is gonna be, it's gonna be the X of that top left corner plus the width, All right? That will get me the X coordinate that the photo finishes and then it's the same with the height. It's going to be the Y value of the top left of the top of the photo plus the H value will get me to that bottom corner. So I need to add those together when I want to use my crop command. So if I put make up, uh, let's, let's call this face only. All right, so I've got my photo and I'm going to crop it, double set of brackets, all right, so uh, the easy way of separating this out, I can use the individual values that are in this list, just using the zero and uh, the square bracket indexes, uh, or I could do something like x, y, width, height equals first, uh, first face. And that will put them into separate number variables for x, y, W and H. Uh, so that top left corner will be where the X and Y coordinate was. And then the bottom right hand corner was my X value plus my width. And uh, my Y value was the Y value of the top left and the height together. All right, so if I take this face only and show that on screen instead of the whole photo, let's see what that does when I stare at the camera okay so it has cropped it to just where Python recognizes that my face appears 
All right, now if I have multiple faces, uh, instead of just doing this faces zero, how can I get it to work for multiple faces? That's where we go back to using things like for loops. So I could say for every face inside my list of faces, all right, and now I need to indent. And you'll notice that as soon as I hit enter that um, Visual Studio Code has cleverly indented anyway, uh, because it knows that when you start up a for loop, you need to indent. So let's just get rid of this other stuff that I had here and do this. Okay, so for an individual face, what is the X value, the Y value, the width and the height of this particular face? Uh, and then I can, um, so if I do up a cropped version of it, that will simply be photo dot crop, double set of brackets, X, Y, X plus, width and y plus h all right so that will work the same and i can do cropped dot show uh, to show that particular image say cheese okay <laughs> um, but maybe rather than cropping it i can use what i've done in a previous lesson and also perhaps just draw a rectangle over the full image so let's quickly take a look at how i might go about doing that so for an individual face I still have this thing called photo, right, which is the entire photo. And so instead of just cropping it, let's draw a rectangle. And so to do that, I'm going to come back up to the top here and I need to import in my drawing func uh, function to be able to do this. So uh, image, comma, image draw, and that will allow me to draw on my uh, photos like I've done previously. Uh, and so now, doo -doo -doo. all right, so if I, if I come up here before the for loop, let's create that drawing uh, variable uh, similar to last time. So image draw dot draw, and I'm going to draw on to my photo. So any drawings I want to make appear on that photo. All right, so now I've got this X, Y width and height of a face. Hit enter. All right, so Python will keep the indenting going for me, which is good, that's what I want. So let's draw a rectangle. And again, I need to give it the top left corner and then the bottom right corner. So this is gonna look the same. It's gonna be my X, my Y, my X, my X plus the W, my Y plus the H. Close that first bracket, but I've still got the second bracket open. Uh, and now I can, let's just draw, let's pick a color. So outline of, let's make it, um, I think that's cyan. And let's give it a width of 10, All right? And so now if I take my photo and I show it on screen, what am I going to get? Hopefully I've got a rectangle around my face. Yes. Okay, so Python has recognized where I am. And if you've got three or four people inside your photo, it should draw rectangles around all of their faces. All right. Next video, we are gonna show you how you can then use this to create a face filter. This is Mr. Borngarten signing out.